Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for bromine trifluoride. So here we go. BrF3, uh, bromine trifluoride. It's going to give us 7 valence from the bromine plus 3 fluorines, each with 7 valence electrons, for a total of 28 valence electrons. All right. Now we can go ahead and subtract out the largest multiple of 8, which is 24, which leaves us with 4 electrons. Divide that by 2, gives you 2 non-bonding pairs, and 24 is equal to 8 times 3, which means that this shape is going to be an AX3 coming from here, E2 coming from here, meaning a central atom, 3 peripheral atoms, and two non-bonding pair of electrons on the central atom. Okay, So let's go ahead and draw this structure. You have the bromine in the center surrounded by the three fluorines. All right, And let's go ahead and single bond all of those and then also fill out the octets for the fluorines. Okay, and now we also have to put on these two non-bonding pairs. So let's just throw them on right there. And now, this should be the structure. Let's go ahead and check the formal charge to verify. The uh, formal charge on the central atom, the bromine, is uh, seven valence electrons brought in, minus one, two, three bonds, minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons, which gives you formal charge of zero. And then the uh, formal charges for each of the fluorines Notice they all have the same setups, so their formal charges should all be equal. It's going to be uh, seven valence brought in for each, minus one bond for each fluorine, minus two, four, six non-bonding electrons for each fluorine, which is also zero. Times that by three, because there's three of those fluorines, still sums up to be zero, which is what we're looking for, because this is a non-charged particle. All right. Now we can go ahead and talk about the shape. The uh, AX3E2 type of uh, compound is going to be it's called T-shaped. All right, and with a T-shaped compound, the bond angle or angles are um, approximately 90 degrees and 180 degrees. You have two different sets of angles on this shape. All right. Now, in terms of hybridization, if you look at the central atom, there's one, two, three three uh, peripheral atoms and then two non-bonding pairs that's five different electron groups five different bonding regions which means uh, you need five hybrid orbitals so sp3d hybrid 1s 3ps 1d total of five orbitals and due to the fact that we have these uh, non-bonding pairs of electrons this is going to be a polar compound okay that is pretty much it for this um, compound. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.